Uh, so we are joined now by Fatboy Slim, who is joining us just before he goes on stage for headline our Saturday night at Comp People Festival. Um, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm raring to go. I've been caged for too long. My wife's been doing Strictly and other stuff, so I've been stay at home dad for about five months. <laughs> and this is the, tonight's my sort of official start for the summer season, so I am raring to go. Because you've got lots of dates coming up. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the summer, yeah, summer, summer festivals, the Vita, it's kind of, that's the, that's my main working time, but, yeah, so I've had kind of a, a quiet winter, and now I'm chomping at the bit, and we've got some new gags, we've got some new gags we're going to try out tonight, <laughs> uh, and we've got quite a unique one to this part of the country. When's this, when's this going to be shown? Uh, well, it's going to be up after, after the weekend. After the weekend, yeah. oh, right, well, I can tell you that. Uh, I don't know if you ever saw the festival's 10th birthday, we brought a choir on. Yeah. We're kind of taking that idea a bit further. Oh, very there's, good. there's choirs involved and Robbie on the piano. I'll be looking forward to it. Well, um, our first question really was, what do you make of the rise of kind of the new modern <laughs> festivals where it's in a city like Southampton, like on people, because you're playing Park Life in a couple of weeks up in yeah. Manchester as well. How does that compare to a standard three-day festival like Glastonbury or Festival? I don't know. If, if for me... It might be just a sign of my age, but for me, it all depends on the kind of the relationship between the festival and the city. If this, if this goes well, then the people of Southampton will be proud of common people. You know, it's something that it's like a you know a feather in our cap. If it, if there's like fights and trouble and noise, then people go because uh, it's 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 a lot easier to put on festivals in the middle of nowhere. There's less people to upset. Doing them this close to a city. And, and I know from doing them on Brighton Beach, you have to be very, very careful about your relationship your, with, you know, keeping the, 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 the locals happy and not upsetting them. So let's hope it all, that everybody's happy at the end of the weekend. Yeah. So um, there's been a big thing this year with people banning selfie sticks from festivals. Truck and Oxford has just banned King Hopkins. They've put that on a list of things they've banned. And what I so what was the first one? They've banned selfie sticks. Selfie well, sticks? Yeah, all over right. Europe, the Coachella banned them. Truck Knox has just banned Katie Hopkins, so they've put her on a list of things you can't bring into the site. You, can't, right, you yeah. can't hold a camera on the end of Katie Hopkins. Well, oh, that, that's it. Yeah. just part of Katie Hopkins. Yeah. Too. So what I want to know is, is there one thing you want to be, have banned from festivals? Uh, a very interesting question, that. I'm trying to think of a witty answer. <laughs> you banned from festivals. Uh, Generators that don't work. Generators that don't work. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, because the whole point of festival is, is, is anything goes. And I, I think Katie Hopkins would be welcome. <laughs> um, selfie sticks are welcome. They're, they're all, you know, I'm, in this day and age, I mean, I think everybody holding up a camera phone and filming you all the way through should be bad. I think there should be a kind of, you're allowed to come for a minute. But people who just stand there the whole gig, it's like, why don't you just enjoy the gig rather than filming it? Um, but no, I, no, I'm up for any kind of stupid behaviour. <laughs> um, and what song of yours do you think goes down best at festivals? Uh, uh, I don't know, the Praise You for Play It right here, right now. Um, depends on, it depends on the mood, really. Uh, yeah, I mean, every festival is different, especially when you're kind of outdoors and then you're in a situation that it, some festivals like that's really they've been running for years and you know exactly how it works as people go there year and doing one way where it's like a whole new bunch of people, it's almost like a party where everybody doesn't know each other. Yeah. So you don't really know how it's gonna go. But I would have thought hopefully the moment I uh, I did snowballing the other week and a bloke came up to me afterwards and he said, When you play the right here right now with Born Sleepy I lost my shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's made me, I lost my shit too. <laughs> um, they were from Scottish, of course. Um, uh, yeah, I hope that if, if it's a, uh, an old enough crowd that they recognise Born Slippy, probably the moment of Born Slippy and right here, right now, that's hopefully the moment where people lose their shit. Cool. Um, fantastic. Well, thank you for your time. Um, Pat, I, we wish you well on the main stage. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs>